What's up guys? My name is Michael and today I'm going to show you a little introduction to Luminar. I think Luminar can be a real alternative for some of you for Lightroom and especially for people who don't have a lot of experience in post-production. It can be a really really great tool. Now let me explain to you why I think Luminar is a really interesting piece of software. Now, first of all, Luminar has now introduced its libraries. Now, libraries are just a tool that help you browse through your directories and they help you open and select images and yeah, give star ratings to images, create virtual albums, etc. So, this is a great tool. Let me show you how, what the library looks like. Let's go right here. You see this is the library on the right hand side and um, you can now browse through the folders that you have imported to Luminar and you can also browse by date. Now for example you can see right here that I have some images from my US road trip in here and you can now select a folder and you will see the images that have been taken on that particular day. You can select the thumbnail size, you can make them smaller or bigger of course. And you can browse through the images. Uh, these thumbnails get sharper now as you can see. Uh, you can double click an image to get into the edit mode, just similar to Lightroom. And now you get your editing um, filters. They call it filters. So it's not adjustments exactly, it, they call it filters. And just like you're used from Lightroom, all the editing that you do in Luminar is non-destructive. Now, before we go into the editing, let me explain to you what non-destructive means. That means that all the editing is saved in the Luminar database and you will need to export an image if you want to have this version as, an, as its own file. So, just like with Lightroom and Capture One, it's the same thing. By the way, all the images that we are editing here today have been taken on my Fuji X-H1 but, um, and, and Luminar reads the Fuji RAW files and Luminar of course also reads JPEGs. Um, make sure you check their website if your camera RAW format is supported. Let's go into the editing. I have pre prepared a little selection of uh, images that I want to edit with you. They are in the folder Luminar YouTube. Now these are uh, mixed images, some from my Fuji, some from my drone, some RAW, some, some are JPEG. So everything is mixed up. The main thing for me when looking at Luminar are um, the possibilities and the looks that Luminar has. These looks make it really easy for you to get a great looking photo without a lot of knowledge about post-production. Now for me, Luminar will not replace Capture One, but it will exist besides Capture One because I still think that Capture One is the best RAW converter out there right now. And uh, Luminar is just a tool that will help you get a certain look to your image way faster. And especially, as I told you, for people that are not uh, as experienced in post-production as I am. Now, the cool thing about Luminar are the AI filters. I'm just gonna apply a Luminar look to this image. And this Luminar look will apply the AI Image Enhancer. Now, check this out. If I apply the AI Image Enhancer, I mean, it's crazy that this happened with just one click. And I mean, it, 
it's always a matter of taste. It depends on what you're looking for and it, and it depends on how much you want to go into detail and how much experience you have, of course. But just by applying this Luminar look, I'm pretty amazed what this image now looks like. Let's go ahead and apply another one just so you can see what kind of looks you can get because I think that the remarkable look on this image also looks really nice. Now you can see that with just one click I get an amazing result without the need to have a lot of knowledge about post-production. And that's what I like about Luminar. What I don't like about Luminar is that everything is a filter. So you can add a filter, you can look for different things in here. And the thing is that most of the things don't have the name that you might be used to. So just just to play with that, we're going to go to another image, go right here and add a filter. I'm going to play again with the uh, artificial intelligence filters because with these AI filters, for, for example with the AI sky enhancer, if I use that one, you can see that the sky is being darkened with this lighter. With every other software I would have to make a selection and I don't like to create selections and I think you also don't like to create selections a lot. Let's play again with the second AI filter which is the Accent AI filter. I'm gonna apply it, close the filter catalog, scroll down and turn it up. And you can see that just by applying these two filters, the image has improved drastically. Just to show you um, what I could have achieved with just one click, I'm going to apply the Blockbuster uh, preset look um, and, and check that out. I mean, that is before and that is after. And I could add my own uh, filters, of course. Let's go over and go ahead to this image. Now, as you can see, this one has been shot shortly, very short, after sunset. Now, imagine you're a little bit late and you still want to see the sun rays in the image. And there is a way to do that. And I mean, some people will say, okay, that's, that's a little too much, but I think it's a cool tool. And you can just search in here, and that's something that I really like. Let's go ahead and apply the sun rays filter. Now the sun ray filter needs to be placed to the correct position. And now check out what happens if I place it under the horizon. You can see that the sun, the sun rays now only go up. If the sun is still above the horizon, the sun rays look different. Let's place it like this and add some warmth. Let's add another filter called Golden Hour. Turn it up. And now I'm going to add Accent AI filter just because I like the way it, it changes your image. And I mean, it's all a matter of taste, but check that out. That's the way it came out of camera, and that's the way it looks now. Luminar is not gonna be my main photo editing tool, but I think for some of you, it might be really a great tool. Especially if you don't want to spend that much money for Lightroom. Um, but the most important thing for Luminar is that they have a pre-order phase uh, going on right now, which will save you $10. And if you use my promo code, which you can find right here, um, you will save 
dollars again so luminar can be used on up to five computers in your home for around fifty dollars it depends on um, when you will get that license but they have a uh, great offer going on right now so you should really uh, get it now if it's interesting for you you can also try luminar download the trial check it out for yourself play around with the filters it can be a great alternative for some of you so i hope this video was helpful it was not supposed to be a full Luminar tutorial. It was just meant, yeah, to show you the software. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we're gonna talk about something else. Until then, have a good time. Don't forget to take great photos because that's what matters in the end. Thank you for watching, guys. See ya.